<laughs> Since we are uh, isolated and everyone is staying at home, definitely will be uh, some past experiences or some uh, painful incidents will pass by and you will need to work on yourself. And you can imagine how a society would be if each one of us started working on themselves. Now you are forced to do that, but I want, it, yeah, I want you to take it like something good is happening to you because uh, it's better than being uh, awakened alone. It's, I think it's mercy that we are all going through this. So if you know, when you know that you're not alone, then this makes you feel better. Um, now, the source of all things within the body, within human, within the person is the heart. And it has been proven now that the heart is a second brain. Now, I don't believe that when you say that, don't think, don't, listen to your heart and think you need your brain to think about things of course we need that we need our brains but at the same time now the heart is count the heart is counted as a second brain it can show you the way without analyzing anything without thinking about uh, this decision or why am i feeling this feeling it's just a feeling that comes to you and they call it the sixth uh, sense what uh, the heart is telling you is beyond uh, being logic beyond asking uh, questions and answering them it's just a feeling which comes and it tells you it shows you the way some people they count this as weak uh, if you want to strengthen it you can trust it and uh, time after time after time you will strengthen this a feeling within you and you will know how to trust it you just need to give it a chance it's by it's the first thing which comes to you this is how you will differentiate between uh, any other feelings it's the first thing which pops up uh, you know sometimes when you start questioning a feeling uh, for example why I don't feel good about that person he seems good, he seems fine, he's polite, blah, blah. You know, the logic way of thinking, the logic way of thinking. This will not lead you to the right path. What I'm talking about is the first message you get. You know, sometimes we are, we don't know which path we take and uh, uh, it doesn't make sense that you feel that you should take this path, but you don't see it, but you think that the end of it, it, it won't, logically it won't, look good but within your feelings you feel that this is the right path that you should take and this is what i'm talking about then go for it don't don't be hesitant because it is the right one since your heart feels it your, your heart knows your your vibrations what suits you what uh, uh, what doesn't suit you uh, you know it knows all these things it's from the vibration field some of us, when we go through bad incidents or painful ones, we think that when we shield the heart that this is a good thing to do and it will prevent us from going through other hurts uh, or other painful incidents. And uh, this is wrong. You know, yogis and the healing thing, it uh, the basic of it is to clean the heart from all the blocks within. So, to put a block over the heart, the heart is the source of my life and my uh, relation and my health. And it's, it's the main, it's the source. So when I shield it, it means that I'm preventing the good from coming. The best thing to do is to remove this shield and I can do that. Uh, this shield is like uh, layers of uh, negative feelings. Uh, we both can work on that by taking one layer after the other. Like, for example, let's say there is a layer of, uh, of uh, sadness, another one anger, another one betrayal, you know. We can work one by one and we can remove all those uh, blocks and then your health will be better, you won't feel pain within your body, your life will be better. Uh, I've got so many cases. You know, 93% of society, they have this shield, thinking that this will protect them.
I realized, you know, from the cases that I worked on and also myself that uh, when I remove one shield from the heart, another part of the body gets better. The pain, let's say pain in the knee will be gone. Uh, it is something really strange, but this is how it works. What you can do at home, I mean, also uh, psychologically you will you will breathe better some people they feel like that there is a block on their breath and when i work with people on that uh, they feel immediately that their breath is getting better they can breathe better a uh, pain in the lower back will go away so the heart is is the basic and, and the life gets better. Uh, they feel that there are things are opening, that they are experiencing new things, that they can see new things like, for example, uh, someone uh, who wanted to get married and uh, uh, she couldn't see was in front of her the whole time. And she, didn't, she realized that after we worked on her heart that he was in front of her and she never saw him actually and uh, now she's married to him <laughs> i mean she was looking elsewhere she, she she never figured out that he is just there in front of her things like that happen and um, since you're at home what you can do is when this incident pass or this painful incident passes uh, you can let it out let all the feelings uh, out don't suppress them and then uh, start asking yourself why did you get this incident what did you do why what is the cause of attracting such incident you may think that you have nothing to do with it but you have all what to do with it just try to open your heart and to think it's not because I want you to blame yourself not because I want you to learn and this is the second step is to learn from any incidents you've been through painful incident you've been through painful incident means that you need to learn from this incident and then uh, the third step is start thinking about what you can do about it we improve uh, this is how we uh, we progress in life and this is the law of life even if it's painful it's because to uh, make you learn and to make you grow and uh, the heart is is a wonderful thing but it will teach you in a kind way if you want to learn what i'm doing you have the course uh, you can uh, go to the link uh, up there <laughs> and i think it's an opportunity and it's a huge chance to work on ourselves to make it a better world because when i'm better then the world would be better, definitely. Bye.